beings tell me that since that time, four cycles of Earth procession of the equinoxes have come and gone. Each cycle of Earth procession, called a great age or great year, comprises 25,920 years. This cycle of procession involves a gradual shift of Earth's axis of rotation, a slow, revolving wobble of the Earth on its axis. However, the angle of Earth tilt and its relationship to the Sun and other heavenly bodies remains the same. As each of these cycles came to an end, and the Earth realigned with the energy programming center of the heart of the galaxy, the galactic center, a new cycle began. And as it did so, the shift in the electromagnetic energy entrainment between the Earth and the galactic center also took place. The ending and beginning of previous Earth cycles may also have coincided with cataclysmic Earth upheaval and destructive climatic events. In recent years, scientists have reported an extensive area of ice melt in the Arctic, but overall the mass of polar ice is increasing in the Antarctic. The Earth has already tilted at least 26 degrees on its axis. This is documented scientific fact, and this increasing shift of Earth's axis tilt is changing our weather and climate in an unprecedented manner. The star beams tell me that a controlled pole shift is underway culminating with the final shift in the Earth's angle of torque, the Earth's angle of rotation or axis tilt, which will take place on the 21st of December, with continuing Earth changes through 2014. The 21st of December this year is the end of a 25,920 year cycle of Earth, but the star beings tell me that this new beginning will be different. They say that at this time of transition, Earth is finally to come of age and be recalibrated to a fifth dimensional vibration. A new fifth root race of human beings is to be created. What this means is that the 12 strand DNA potential that we now all have as human beings will be able to be activated within the faster pulsating energy environment of a new fifth dimensional Earth. It was not possible previously while the Earth was vibrating in the slower pulsating rhythm of the third dimension. Soon it will be so, as we are Earth beings calibrated to Earth's frequency. With the Earth's shift to the fifth dimension on the 21st of December, more of the innate cognitive power and potential that was always part of our original genetic code will be activated. DNA material that previously has been turned by scientists as junk DNA will begin to be switched on. The capacity for us as human beings to use our mind in more empowered ways will be increased. In truth, with the Earth's shift to the fifth dimension, we are all being recreated and upgraded, both in consciousness and in physical form. At this time of new beginning, many beings from the stars are coming again to the Earth to help humanity chart a course through stormy waters and begin a new planetary cycle of conscious galactic co-creation. After this fifth great age begins on the 21st of December, many representatives of the star nations of this galaxy will come to walk among us here on Earth. They say that so many will come that no government will be able to deny this or cover up the truth. In turn, they will have our world governments chart a new path of progress and vision for the Earth, so that working together as one galactic people, we will write in justice and ensure that all upon the Earth have equal opportunity. The message is positive. They say be heartened by what lies ahead. They assure us that our thoughts of fear are merely a release of old outmoded consciousness vibrations that are falling away from us now, like a snake shedding its skin. They understand that old viewpoints and conditioned ideas of reality may require mental readjustment but this is quickly done if we just allow ourselves to be and be with what is. They say, when you come, we will come quickly. We will come in large numbers. You will see huge ships of light in the skies above your city. No one will be able to deny that we are here among you. When you see these irrevocable signs in the skies that we've arrived, 
Please welcome us from the continent of Europe. As you too came from the and we are like family to you. We work only for your highest good and greatest well-being. In the years ahead, we wish to assist you in many areas of technology to advance the earth and create abundance, health, and happiness for all. Together, we will recreate the pure light and original beauty of the Tara, the earth as it once was and will be again. The time of our coming is at hand. Practice love and goodwill. Be kind to yourself and to others. Become aware that thoughts that are critical or condemning will fly like a boomerang back to you. So be mindful of how you think and how you act on these thoughts that are your own creation. The most important thing we say to you is be at peace and know that all is well. Thank you.